Welcome to Binge Worthy Network. For years, viewers have watched TLC's My 600 Pound Life, witnessing morbidly obese patients completely transform their bodies and lives. The patients profile on the show all start out hundreds of pounds overweight with the devastatingly healthy and emotional problems that come with it. But all of them have something in common, hope and the desire to change. In comes the show's central figure, Dr. Yanan Nal Zardan. Dr. Nal, AKA makes it easier, as his patients call him, is a bariatric surgeon who performs weight loss surgeries on his patients and coaches them along the road to a healthy weight. Over the season, dozens of people have made complete turnarounds, going from barely mobile to active and fit. And while most patients on the show lose weight, there are some that really stand out. Here are eight transformations on My 600 Pound Life that will blow you away. Amber Ratchty. Amber's transformation is one of the most jaw-dropping. When she first appeared on the show at age 23, she weighed a whopping 657 pounds, and she said that she felt like a nasty, yucky monster. Her legs carried a great deal of her weight, and as a result, she couldn't stand for more than 30 minutes at a time. After losing 20 pounds in order to qualify, for gastric bypass surgery with Dr. Now, she underwent the procedure and ended up getting down to 377 pounds within a year. But she didn't stop there. She ultimately lost 400 pounds and kept it off, profiling her journey with glimpses of glamorous pinup style selfies on Facebook and Instagram, where her profile once read, I spent a long time not liking me, so I documented my moments I felt pretty. Ratchety, who confessed on her show on My 600 Pound Life that her weight prevented her from being intimate with her then boyfriend. Now she has a lot to celebrate when it comes to her personal life. She's now engaged in 2016 and has since tied the knot. And next we have Brittany Falfer. Brittany's story is nothing short of remarkable. She started out weighing 605 pounds at only five foot one. She was so motivated to change that she and her husband, Bill, moved from Oregon to Texas in order to be near Dr. Now's office where she underwent weight loss surgery. According to Women's Health Magazine, she lost almost 400 pounds and dropped down to 222. She explained her reason for having the surgery to the mag. I felt I had more to offer myself, friends, and family than just having them help take care of me. I was too young to feel so old. She said she is cherishing every moment of her new life and she told Women's Health, I know when I started this journey that my life was going to get better, but I had no idea that my life was going to be this amazing. My weight was my prison. Now I am free and I can do whatever I want, whenever I want. And next we have Angel Parrish. Angel weighed 570 pounds when she first appeared on the show, riding in a wheelchair and relying on her boyfriend Donnie for her everyday needs. She said that her eating habits had been triggered by the trauma of placing a baby for adoption at age 14. And the situation got worse when she later experimented postpartum depression after giving birth to her son with Donnie. Donnie went so far as to say via the Daily Mail that she just stopped living. After the son, Andrew, was born, he threatened that if she didn't get help, he was going to leave her and take Andrew with him. Parrish rebounded in a big way by losing over 150 pounds through diet changes and then underwent weight loss surgery with Dr. Now. She adopted a fitness routine and ultimately dropped over 300 pounds after losing the weight. She reflected, it's been a long time since I could look at myself and see someone that I thought was beautiful. After slimming down, she was able to be a more active parent and she said, I wake up and it's not to eat it's to get Andrew ready for school. And now we have Melissa Morris. Melissa was one of the first people to be profiled on the show. She started her weight loss journey over a decade ago. She began her journey at 653 pounds and was forced to ride around in a scooter to carry out basic tasks like grocery shopping. After undergoing weight loss surgery, she dropped down to a stunning 137 pounds. And to make things even sweeter, after 12 years of trying to get pregnant, she finally became a mom, welcoming three children over the years. She struggled with her weight after her pregnancy, but still weighs significantly less than she did when she began. 
She told TLC in 2017, I weigh myself every single day. I am so fearful of gaining all that weight back, especially because it was easy for me to gain the weight while pregnant. She also shared some advice for people who might want to change their life like she did. I advise others that the first step towards a healthier life is identifying what you're doing wrong. You must first figure out that because you cannot fix what you do not know. And now we have Christina Phillips. Christina Phillips weighed in at 673 pounds at only 22 years of age. She was first visited by Dr. Now, and she said that she was so embarrassed about her weight that she only left the house at 3 a.m. when she was unlikely to be seen by many people. She told Woman's Health, getting up and just walking around for a few feet made me feel like I was going to die. I couldn't drive, walk far, or go out with friends and family. I was miserable, and I knew I had to do something. With the help of Dr. Now, Phillips had weight loss surgery and experienced a shocking transformation. Her weight loss ended up being so extreme that she actually lost too much weight. The doctor advised her to gain 15 pounds in order to be at a healthier weight. In 2017, she told Women's Health that she now weighs 171 pounds and she said, my life has changed so much since the weight loss, I can do things I never imagined possible. I've been able to try indoor skiing and I could walk miles without getting tired. Number six, we have Donald Shelton. Donald's weight loss journey was a bit of a bumpy road with lots of twists and turns. When viewers were first introduced to him, he weighed 678 pounds and his weight made it hard for him to move around, causing him to ride around in a wheelchair. His immobility led to several bouts of depression. After weight loss surgery with Dr. Now, he was able to lose almost 400 pounds but according to In Touch Weekly, he was unfortunately diagnosed with Guillain-Barre syndrome, which affected his ability to walk and required him to go back into a wheelchair. Unfortunately, after this devastating setback, he reportedly gained back 200 pounds. But like the other highly motivated stars of My 600 Pound Life, Shelton did not give up. According to In Touch, he ultimately was able to drop off some weight that he put back on, and he looks trim and happy in later social media posts. Number seven, we have Chuck Turner. Chuck weighed 693 pounds when he first appeared on the show. He said that he started gaining weight years earlier after his first wife was murdered. He eventually married his second wife, Nessa, and they adopted a son together. But his marriage became strained when he was obese and was preventing him from helping around the house. According to InTouch Weekly, his situation had grown even more complicated because of a 40-pound growth called lymphomita. He developed it on his leg, hindering his movements even further. He told TLC producers, I'd rather be a dead man than have to live like this for the rest of my life. Luckily, he was able to have weight loss surgery with Dr. Now, and he ended up losing 433 pounds. Unfortunately, he and Nessa eventually split up, but according to Touch, he said in a reunion special that he was looking for love again. And finally, we have Paula Jones. When Paula Jones decided to lose weight, she had a powerful and tragic motivation. Her husband had died from weight-related complications from weighing over 600 pounds. A year after his passing, Jones herself weighed 542 pounds and was worried that she too would share the same fate due to her obesity, leaving behind four children of their own. She decided that it was time to change and paid a visit to Dr. Now. She was stunned when she set foot on a scale and saw her weight. I'm huge. I look like a monster, she said sadly. Jones followed through with her commitment to trim down, moving her family from Georgia to Texas in order to have surgery. According to Woman's World, it paid off and it paid off big because she experienced an amazing result, ultimately losing 400 pounds. The mag reported that her relationship with her kids has improved with Jones saying, I can be more active with them. I've learned how to be emotionally healthy as well as physically healthy. Well, that's it for this video. These are the eight stories of nothing short of an inspiration. Whatever situation you're in, never give up and you'll find happiness at the end of the journey. So with that being said, please make sure to like, 
share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for the latest updates. Take care.